Welcome to Leavenworth National Fish Hatchery. In this video, we'll take a look at how we raise our fish. We produce 1.2 million spring Chinook salmon for release every year. How do we do that? It starts with spawning in August when we bring the eggs into the nursery. After an iodine bath, the eggs are left in their trays to develop in cold running water from our wells. Some eggs are placed on display in the hatchery where we and our visitors can monitor their progress without disturbing the eggs in the trays. One tray holds all the eggs from one female. On average, that's about 4,000 eggs. After the eggs have spent some weeks in the trays, it is time to take a look and pull out any eggs that were not fertilized or have died. While picking out the dead ones, we also count the healthy eggs so we know how many we have. We can do this in a variety of ways. In this photo, we're using a machine to count for us. In 2018, we tried out a different machine that can sort the dead eggs out and count the healthy eggs at the same time. The eggs continue to develop. As they get close to hatching, it is easy to see the eyes of the tiny salmon inside the eggs. The tiny fish that hatch still have a yolk sac. That is their only food as they continue to develop. They are called alvins or sac fry at this stage. The alvins remain safely in the trays as they grow. At this time, they don't have a mouth or a stomach. Only when the alvins have finished their yolk sacs are they ready to start eating solid food. We put them into larger tanks, 10,000 fish to each tank, and call them fry. It takes a little while for the fry to get used to their new homes and used to eating food with their mouths, but they're quick learners. There are 122 tanks inside the nursery, each with 10,000 fish. We aim to release 1.2 million spring Chinook salmon a year from now. Fry are moved outside once they grow larger. They are scooped up in nets and put into a tanker, then driven out to the ponds. These ponds are called raceways. The fish will spend the rest of their time at the hatchery in these raceways. As the fish grow, they are fed increasingly larger pellets. The feed we use is dry and doesn't need refrigeration. How much feed we give the fish depends on their numbers and size and how quickly we want them to grow. We feed the fish by hand so we can watch them closely. Our staff are alert to any problems, which we report to our veterinarian at once. The raceways are cleaned daily to keep food waste and fish waste from piling up. A kind of broom is pushed along the bottom toward the drain. The fingerling salmon, called by their size, spend the winter outside. Salmon are cold-blooded. As the water temperature drops, fish become less active. They need to eat less often and use less oxygen. During cold snaps, the raceway surfaces freeze over. Fish must have running water to provide oxygen. Cold weather brings challenges for the staff who are on call at all hours to clear the pipes and pumps of ice. Heavy snow means the screens that protect fish from predators must be raised to keep them from collapsing. Snow removal is a regular chore. Inflatable devices help keep birds away from the raceways. Other predators are not as easy to deter. When spring returns, it may bring high water levels. From the time they were eggs, 
these salmon have spent 20 months at the hatchery. It is time to let them go, releasing them into Icicle Creek to start their long journey to the Pacific Ocean. Out of 1.2 million, how many will come back? The number varies from just hundreds to more than 10,000. We can control the hatchery environment, but we can only wish them luck when they leave and hope enough return to start the next generation.